This is a production of the Your State Ministry of Information and Civic Orientation. Deji Yilese and Adiyi Street at the old Budija Ibadan have become a mecca to thousands of people from far and wide following the explosion that occurred around 7.45 p.m. on Tuesday 16 December 2024. The blast wave from the explosion was felt many kilometers away and as a matter of fact, residents in about 15 kilometers radius did not only feel the blast sand but also felt the shock wave as far as Ring Road, Monia and Akbata Ibadan. Lives of hundreds of residents near the epicenter of the blast site have suddenly changed with many injured and some lives lost. As at the time of filing this report, many lives have been lost to the tragic incident. With no less than five structures completely turned into rubble, many building roofs were blown off, glass windows of houses as far as hundreds of meters were either completely or partly shattered, iron doors blast opened with household facilities destroyed. Affected residents are not just counting their loss in terms of property and lives, but recounting the devastation of the incident was overwhelming. It's a very difficult situation to assess. I left the, the church premises around 6.30 yesterday evening. On getting home around the Oshutokun, around 7.30, 7.45, we had a very a very big blast. We, we were trying to figure out what was actually going on. And uh, I got to know that it happened next door to our church here. Dejo Oyelese discovered that the church has been badly affected. All the movers are gone, the doors are gone, the ceilings in some of the church areas are gone, some of our electronics are badly affected. The, uh, the impact of the destruction uh, it's just too much to be quantified or assessed as we speak. And uh, painfully, some church members' houses are, are also affected. We have nothing less than about 15, 20 members' houses that are terribly affected because most of our church members live within this neighborhood. But the greatest joy is that there was no service ongoing when the incident happened. It could have been very, very disastrous. It could have been very, very disastrous. My building is devastated. My, my, my building, the, the ceiling caved, the, the louvre, all the glasses are shattered. My electronics, you know, flung out. I thank God that the life of my security officer was spared. We cannot replace lives. Thankfully, buildings can be replaced, but lives are lost. This place is occupied by many elderly persons. I'm scared about the health implications for these elderly citizens, retired and senior citizens of Nigeria, many of whose children and you know, loved ones are out of the country. Here is the area view of Deju Ilese before the explosion and after the explosion. Although livelihood on the streets may never remain the same again, the state government, led by Governor Sheyi Makinde, has risen swiftly to its responsibility by setting up an emergency situation hub to collate and coordinate management of victims affected by the explosion. According to a statement issued by the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Prince Dotun Yelade, who was on the explosion site alongside top government functionaries to ascertain the level of damage done at daybreak following the late night visit of Governor Sheyi Makinde to the site on Tuesday barely two hours after the incident occurred. According to the Information Commissioner, it was discovered that explosive mining transaction documents littered the site of the blast. The documents were transacted from 2015 to date. He said that government believes that security operatives may narrow down the course of the explosion to storage of mining explosives in the community by illegal miners. He said anyone who is affected by the tragic incident can go to the premises of the housing corporation Bodhijai Badon for adequate documentation. With the present situation, it appears that the Deputy Governor Barista Bayolawal, who the Governor has assigned to aid the emergency situation hub, has moved his office to the State Housing Corporation Bodhijai Badon to effectively manage the situation and provide necessary support for the people. He had his late breakfast there.
According to the Information Commissioner, temporary accommodation has been organized by the government for those displaced as a result of the explosion, while the state government will also finance the hospital bills of those injured. The Commissioner confirmed that several victims have started registering at the hub and are being put through by emergency and disaster experts. Binga Deshui, reporting for Alode News.